Good morning from Yami B TV. Wishing you all well today. I'm still on Gulliver's Travels, Yami's Travels. Hope you're all having the best day that you possibly can. And uh, many of you are asking for more of the old Cate material. Um, so today, I'm going to break it down the best way that I can sometimes. Sometimes in the Cates, not all of us, you know, because we don't differentiate between colour, race, gender, and, and that kind of stuff. But in reality, on all sides, there's always a bit of racialism with colour, right? So on this day, uh, it was a very, very big day. Uh, it was in the Cates, and all the names were there. And it shows you again and highlights uh, the serious nature and gravity of what prism can really bring and these things can brew up for a long long time and on such given days it can all just kick off where everybody could lose out and gain possible serious injury right so the stage was set we was in the long <laughs> nearly right so we was in the cat a's and i was fidgety as usual uh, I'm close to a lot of people. Um, I'm feeling that others don't like each other. Regular theme in the cafes. Uh, when you're talking to all sides, it can get a bit, 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 bit confused. Uh, so the day was a bit worrying. Uh, there was a officer who was bringing stuff in, right? So there on that day, we they had a link or somebody had a link, and it was going on for a little bit of time, but. Nobody likes to mess up a link because it's very, very important for the smooth running of the jails, you know, uh, whether it be people like me bringing stuff in in the old days or staff, which is probably uh, uh, the main bulk of where stuff comes in, to be honest. And I think that's common knowledge anyway. Um, yep. Yeah, but, you know, you don't want things to go wrong because you know that at such times it's currency and it helps everybody. So everybody was looking to just keep the peace. But there were argu other arguments going on in the background. So, it was even an association. Um, Warren Slaney uh, was there. Very hard, hard geezer. Uh, my mate as well, it's got to be said. Uh, and respected in the fighting world, in the cates, by mostly everyone, fair to say. Right. But I liked Warren. Um, Warren was all right with me. I was all right with him. I know people close to him. I have I have serious suspicions about his conviction as well. You know, uh, I have I've seen a lot of paperwork, uh, but that's another story. Uh, but on this day, yeah. So you've got the laundry man who does the laundry. So on certain days, he does landing by landing. So like you go for the Monday, 1 to 10, the cell numbers, landing 2. 20 to 30 and then 40 to 60 and that's monday tuesday wednesday and you get your washing done once a week so what then happens is the smooth boys all the ones that get in all their good clobber want to keep their stuff clean and tidy and still want to represent uh you know uh, the good feeling that good clothes and looking nice and well uh can bring to the to the human uh spirit if you get what i mean um but yeah so some people ask for more washing days than others so they might give the, the, the laundry man a little bit here, a little bit there. Can you do mine? There's an extra bit here. Can you put mine in? So on this day, Warren Slaney said to him, he said to him, Jono. Jono was from Lincoln. Another good geezer. Very powerful. He walked up to Jono and he said, um, how come my washing ain't been done? I gave you it yesterday. Blah, blah, blah. Jono said to him, no, uh, I've got others to do and then I'm going to get back to you. Warren, you're a nugget. When you're ready, go down there. I want to have it with you. Right. <clears throat> the other boys couldn't afford Jono to fall out with anyone. All right. So whatever you draw from that, I won't be uh, going on it any further. Right. These are the things that happen in jail. So everybody sitting around the pool table. Sam from Liverpool. A big name from South London. Um, Tomo from Preston. Um, who else? Me, but there was a couple of others as well. Uh, Tomo, who was the fourth one, the fifth one? Um, yeah, so everyone's sitting around the table. So Warren Slaney and Jono are walking to the laundry to have a one on one. But I was surprised because I didn't think Jono was going to fight him, so Jono wasn't really scared. So on this day, Jono's saying, No, 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 he, he's quiet, good, good bloke, Jono. Uh, and then they started walking. So 
Warren looks a bit apprehensive. So he's walking past the pool table. He swung a punch after Sam, right? Sam must have been expecting it because Sam had already told him, listen, drop it out. We don't need it. It's unnecessary ag, blah, blah, blah. So he's walking past. This is all taken moments before the build up to go into the laundry room with Warren and Tom um, Jono to have the one on one. So they're walking. He's passing the pool table. Warren throws a punch at Sam on the pool table while Sam was sitting on the table. But Sam must have been expecting it because he moved like that. And then, boom, he jumped up. I said, come on. And then someone else from South London, uh, a well-known name, got up and said, yo, 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 peace, peace, peace. Leave it. And then the other Warren said to him, nah, well, don't talk to me like that. And he called him the word. Right. The fighting starts. Bang. He goes to the right, he wobbles a little bit, but he stays on his feet. He throws one back, but he throws one back from underneath there. You know what it's like sometimes when you get dazed. Uh, but then the grabbing started, the biting started, because there's no rules in the cates, and flesh was taken out. Basically, horrible sight. Everyone side fighting, right? So, fair to say, uh, uh, lovely fellow from Preston, Tomo. Yeah, good stuff, Tom. And Tomo for a punch as well, because he liked Warren but he didn't have no problems with the other ones, but he threw a punch at someone, and they fell on the floor. Sam got up off the table. Somebody else got involved from Manchester. Bang! Sam put him on the floor as well. So that's how it all went. But these are the things that can happen in that in, in these situations where a lot of big egos um, are, 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 you know, they say hello to each other, but there's not no real love because everybody's always fighting for top spot. You know, look, we've talked about already some of the, some of the, the hard hard, hard, hard men of our time uh, during that life. But it's very, very serious. Uh, friendships can be forged and then ruined by one single incident, depending on what side you're on. So I could get on with you, but he gets on with me, but he doesn't get on with you. So it's, when the fallout happens, he already doesn't really feel you anyway, if you get what I mean. But those are the dynamics of the Cates. I'm coming up shortly again for another one. Part two, the whole truth, the nothing but the truth. Tony Arjun versus Johnny Mac coming up in a minute. Sending love so far, so good.